What's up guys, it's the Noob Gamer here today. I'm going to teach you how to get the sword on Shadows of Evil. As you can see here, I'm using my sword currently. I'm doing an overview and a talk through on this gameplay. I'm going to sh basically, this is the sword if you guys don't know how it is. It's pretty simple to get. It just needs a few, like a few minutes of your time in the game. So let's begin. First of all, you want to go to the waterfront district, run up over here. You want to go to the waterfront station, train station, and you want to go right up, as you can see. And then you want to turn to the left, and then you're going to find a chart. And I'm going to open this as a bigger chart for you guys to see. As you can see here, the question marks where we are, that's the yellow point, and the question marks are where they the arrows are so we're gonna go to the waterfront district right now as you can see here you always want to look to the right and then you're gonna see those symbols pause your screen take it down if you have bad memory anyway let's continue you're gonna keep going forward there are a total of three signs if you guys don't know so that's the first one second one is right over here somewhere right over here as you can see those light again if you want pause it and uh, draw it or write it down somewhere for you guys not to forget anyway continue we're going to stop at the station as you can see you can't use it right now it needs to recharge so once it's all done recharging you can go back run up to the train again it's preferably not to have a zombie with you because it's going to get annoying and then you want to direct it to the canals and again on your way to the canals all you have to do is look to the right because most of the times well all the time the symbols are going to be on the right well most of the times happened with me are on the right and it's the only time that happened with me was on the right anyway you're going to keep looking to your right and right over here do you guys see that it was right over there it's next to the Anyway, you got, it's like a circle and it's right over there. Write it down, poise the screen, write it down, or tr like a bunch of you just look at it so you remember where it is. Anyway, once you know all the three symbols, you have to do this all in one go. You can't like take your time because I've heard that each time you do it, it resets. That's what I've heard. I've never tried it because I got it all the times in one go. Anyway, we're going to go jump down over here to where the keepers are. You want to become the beast. And then on the, you see these symbols on the walls you want to find the right symbols and shock it and yeah you're limited to the time of your beast and as you can see how i'm trying to find every symbol that i found there's a total of three and once you get all the symbols correct it's going to open up and as you can see right over there is the egg there's four eggs for four players if you're playing solo there's one egg only for you you can't take more than one anyway you go up to it you're going to pick an egg and then you find these, I really don't know what they're called, but you find these statues and you gotta place these statues, the egg on the statue and kill zombies next to it. That's one which is down at the keeper's gate or whatever you want to call it, it's down there. Second one is in the waterfront district. And again, guys, try to keep it close at uh, the statues at the back, it's far back. And anyway, the third one is at the waterfront. Um, and then as you can see this is the waterfront you go you want to go all the way to the back and this is that you're going to place the egg over there and guys keep in mind as you can see here i'm going to show you these kills didn't count so you need to be close by to the sorry that was the, the that was the canals this is the f footlight district and then this is the third statue so there's a total of four statues. That's the fourth statue I meant. So there's one down, one in waterfront, and uh, one in footlight, and one in the canals. There's a total of four. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I'm the Noob Gamer. See you later. Bye-bye.